My name is Ayman Najem. Uh, I am a plaintiff of the genocide case against Biden, Austin and Blinken for aiding and abetting genocide and also complicity in genocide. I was born in Gaza. I have all of my entire family lives in Gaza. All of my entire family right now in the inter internally displaced locations in refugee camps, in uh, evacuation centers. Uh, literally all of my sister lost their houses. Literally my aunts also lost their houses. They were obliterated. Their houses have been obliterated from the face of the earth. I, uh, I lost a countless number of my family members, extended family members, neighbors, friends, journalists. For the last 75 years we have been screaming about ethnic cleansing, apartheid system. We have been screaming about the slow motion genocide. We have been screaming now the world seat at full display. The world is seeing the most live stream genocide in recorded human history. U.S. has been an enabler for that. Three ceasefire resolution to stop the genocide in Gaza and the U.S. vetoed it. So, and, uh, and, and that, that's, that's really like uh, mind-boggling and heart-wrenching. Not for me as someone from Gaza, but also for all of our humanity. Some people like are ambivalent. Wow, 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 what's the benefit for us as U.S. citizens to send for billion dollars to, uh, to Israel to send for 14 billion dollars like a last gift not to kill not not to eat feed people but to kill people who are defenseless under the international law people who are under occupation people who are occupied people by the international people by the international community so the occupying bubble has to protect us under the international law so it, it has been extremely uh, devastating mind-boggling, heart-wrenching uh, situation to, to, to understand. Mother, to Father, I know you are struggling without medication, without drinking water. I know you are struggling while keeping hundreds of people at our houses, uh, hundreds of our families at our houses. I know you are struggling and I send you so much love uh, and so much resilience in a time where resilience is limited.